Okay, next part of our novel study, right here, chapters four through six, starting with chapter four. Question one, why wasn't running fun anymore? Because Leslie won every race. So a lot of the boys stopped racing. Number two, find proof in the story that Jess really likes Miss Edmonds. There is a bunch of stuff in this in the first couple chapters that explain how Jesse really likes Miss Edmonds and how he feels about her. Um, he shows her his drawings. He talks about how pretty she is. Her class is his favorite. You know, he just adores her. So... I mean, there was a lot of examples you could put down. Those were just the ones that I had in my in my copy. Uh, number three, why was Leslie unable to do the project on Jacques Cousteau? Because she doesn't have a TV at home. Number four, what reason does Leslie give for moving into Jesse's part of the state? Her parents wanted to find meaning in life and not focus on money and success. She says they're reevaluating their position in life, um, which is a very big, broad sentence for a fifth grader to use. But when she explained it to Jess, then it made a lot more sense. They were focusing a lot on gaining success through their writing and through writing their books and writing stories and writing for newspapers. And I think they had a lot of focus on that and not enough focus on Leslie. So they moved to the country to focus more on Leslie, but still work kind of and be farmers. So that's my theory. Okay, I crossed out number five because number five was a double question. So we're going to skip to number six. Describe the creek bed behind the old Perkins place. Um, it was where farmland and the woods met. There was a tree and on the tree an old rope. There was also an old crab apple tree. Um, according to Leslie, what was the only way that someone would be able to get to their magic country? By swinging across on the rope. And sadly, that rope is going to come into play later. If you've seen the movie or you've seen the book, you know it's coming later. But I'm not telling you. Spoiler time. No spoilers. Uh, number eight. What did Leslie name their new secret land? She named it Terabithia. It's on the book cover of the book. Not hard to spell. Uh, number nine. Why did Leslie and Jess avoid one another during school hours? Well, they didn't want anybody to think that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Nah. I mean, it happens. <laughs> okay, chapter five, question 10. Who was the real giant in their lives? And that was Janice Avery. She's a seventh grader. She's kind of a bully. Uh, what did the Council of War discuss at Terabithia that afternoon? That's This is question 11. How to get back at Janice without getting into trouble? Number 12, what plan of action did they do? Do they decide to bleh. what plan of action do they decide on to pay back Janice Avery? I just realized there was a typo in that question. So sorry about that. Um, they decide to write a note from Willard Hughes saying that he liked her. Okay. Number 13, what was the hardest part of the plan to get Janice Avery planting the note? Number 14, how does Leslie prevent Mrs. Pierce from, dis from discovering that Jess is in the classroom? She says that there is a nest on the building and Mrs. Pierce knew a lot about science and wanted to know what it, what had built it and takes her outside. Um, chapter six, number 15, what were the girls obsessed with at Jess's house? One, what to buy their boyfriends for Christmas? And two, what to get the girl, what to get the girls. So two reasons, what to get their boyfriends and what to get the girls, the babies. Uh, number 16, what did Jess plan to give Leslie for Christmas initially? What was his first idea of a gift? And that was a book of his drawings. Number 17, what does Jess give Leslie for Christmas? A puppy. What does she name it? This is number 18. What does she name it? Prince Tarion. Number 19, what does Leslie give Jess? 
She gives him a box of watercolors with 24 tubes of paint or 24 tubes of colors, three brushes, and art paper. You need all three of those things on that question. And then number 20, why does Jess make sure that he and the puppy enter Terabithia only by the prescribed entrance? Jess felt that one must enter by the prescribed entrance because it might bring them bad luck. So that's that part. Okay, so for tomorrow on your schedule that I included to included in your packet, you know, these lovely little plans here. Tomorrow is April 20th. It is Monday. And your next part will be to read chapter seven and eight, which I looked ahead. They're not very long chap chapters. And I will work on reading them probably tonight or early tomorrow morning if I can get, you know, get my booty and gear uh initially but um i'll try and read those and upload those tonight but we will not go over the next block of questions until after we finish chapter nine which you guys will read chapters nine and ten on tuesday so thank you guys for bearing with me i'm sorry it took me so long to get these uploaded but we got them now so we're good. I miss you guys so, so much. Have a great week and I will be back tomorrow to upload some more or you might get some links, a lot of links tomorrow. So just bear with me. I miss you guys so much. Bye.